Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Sorry, sorry guys for the disturbance. Mm -hmm. By using different UIDs and passwords. No, uh, I'm going to say you are going to use only one password. So manually if I ask you to test it, you will perform these steps. You will perform these steps. Whenever you click on sign in, you will look for this inbox page, right? Yeah, basically we need a yes, valid set of user ID and password, of course. Yeah, say it is a positive scenario, if it is generally, sorry, as, uh, no, even for myself it is a bit of uh, no, disturbance. Yeah, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by executing each step sequentially, we will perform these steps. That's correct. And whenever we uh, you know, come to the sign-in, we can able to see this inbox page, right? So, whenever we see this inbox page, we will say it is a pass. Right, whenever we see, whenever we see the inbox page, well, we can say it is pass. Okay. Yeah, Sirisha, uh, now for those people, uh, now if you getting disconnect from uh, this go to meeting i know please uh, no sorry for that uh, it seems uh, we have um, uh, no reach the maximum number of students here okay uh, maybe you don't need to join we will share the video sorry for that because it's uh, no troubling the others okay uh, most probably from next class onwards i will ask us to to give uh, no instead of this trial account, uh, no, the paid account, so that we can join maximum of 70 students. Definitely Judy. Yeah, do you agree with this? All of you, do you agree with this? Say so these are the steps. Okay. So whenever you see inbox page, we say it is pause. So you are agreeing for this. That's great. Yeah. So basically as a human being, as a human being, I am using my eyes to see the page right so here we are whenever we see this page we are saying it has a pause okay as a human being how can I see I'm using my eyes to see the application okay here our sensors are eyes similar way in similar way whatever the tool that we are talking whatever the tool that we are using that should have a sensing mechanism 
Okay. Say it is either QTP or Selenium or whatever the tool that you are talking about. Okay. That should have a sensing mechanism. Okay. So Selenium having something called locators. So it is going to use some mechanism called locators. By using this sensing mechanism, Selenium is able to recognize the application. Okay. Till this point, any questions here? I am saying whatever the tool that we are using, the tool should have some sensing mechanism. What? Why the sensing mechanism? Because whether you uh, know whether the inbox page is appeared or not, to enter username, it should able to recognize that username text box. To enter password, it should able to uh, you know, uh, it, it should able to recognize the password text box. And to click on sign in, it should able to see the sign in box sign in the text, uh, you know, uh, button is there or not, right? So to perform these steps, it should have some kind of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, sensing mechanism to recognize these objects. These are called as objects, okay? So to recognize these things, we need a, uh, you know, we need a tool which should have sensing mechanism to recognize these things, okay? So I'm saying there is some concept called locators, by using that locators concept in Selenium, uh, you know, it, it can recognize the objects. Okay, here objects means, here if you talk about this username, password, sign in. Okay, so these are something called objects, UI objects. Okay, till this point any questions here? Did you understand? Say yes or no. If there are any questions, please let me know. Okay. So what I'm saying here, these are called as objects. Okay. These are the things that have to be. These are the things. These are the things have to be recognized by the Selenium. How Selenium is recognizing? It uses the concept called locators. We have to discuss more of locators. Don't worry. Okay. So we call it as the objects. So don't uh, no don't uh, no confuse with these words. Uh, if you are a programmer, if you know some programming knowledge, you may get confused with this word. Okay. Don't confuse. We here objects means. In automation terminology, here objects means this UI, UI objects. UI objects means user interface. Like examples like this username, text box, password text box. Signing button. Okay. For example, as of now, these are the three UI objects. Okay. Now, let us discuss about these objects. So, whenever you take a, any web-based application, what are the different types of UI objects? Different types of. Can anyone guess out? Guess it. Types of UI objects. Like just now we discussed about text box button. Text box button. Similarly, can anyone of you guess? Yes, that's correct. Images, yes, page, links. What else? List box, hit box, that's correct. Yep. List box, check box, radio buttons. Okay, so all this comes under in your web based application. These are the different objects that we can come across. Okay, 
So these are the different types of objects that we can observe in a web-based application. So these are the objects that have to Selenium can uh, Selenium have to recognize. Okay. So to recognize these these objects, Selenium uses something called locators, as I said. Okay. So it uses locators. Yeah, locators means it may use ID, it may use name, it may use uh, uh, what we call uh, export. Okay, and it may use uh, CSS. I'm missing something here. Link. Sometimes we need to mention link name also. Okay, so it uses some concept. Okay, it uses these uh, these properties. This we generally call it as the properties. So either of any one, uh, you know, it, it may use any one of this to recognize these objects. Okay, basically these are the different objects that are uh, you know, available in any web-based application. Okay, each object it has own properties. Okay, these are uh, these are these are these are the objects which are built on properties. Okay, so text box contains some property like name, ID, okay, button contains some again some name, some property like ID, like this. Okay, each each object has some properties. Okay, basically we are using these properties to recognize the objects. Okay. So we have different types of objects here and each object contains some properties like name, ID and we have something called HTML tag. Okay. Let me install this. It is something like a uh, no, class. What is this type of class? Text box is something called input. Okay. Class of text box is input. Button is also input. Images IMG class, okay. Page uh, even my, myself I'm digital number. Link it's A class, okay. The HTML tag for link is A, okay. So it has some class and it has some property. So based on these things, we can we can recognize the objects, okay. So how uh, you know locators means in Selenium as as I said we use locators, okay. It uses these things. It uses these things. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.